गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन यार प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड द ग्रामर चैप्टर ओके सो दैट वाज द चैप्टर नेम वाज द प्रीपोजिशन ओके सो लेट अस रिकॉल व्हाट इज प्रीपोजिशन इज ओके व्हाट प्रीपोजिशन इज सो ए प्रीपोजिशन इज अ वर्ड व्हिच इज यूज बिफोर ए नाउन और प्रोनाउन टू शो इट्स रिलेशन विथ अदर वर्ड्स इन ए सेंटेंस ओके वी नो व्हाट इज ए प्रीपोजिशन ओके इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग मोर अबाउट द प्रीपोजिशन ओके स्पेशली द टाइप्स ऑफ प्रीपोजिशंस ओके सो दिस आर I have already written it. There are <coughs> these are the types of prepositions. First, that is preposition of time. Then preposition of place. Preposition of position. Preposition of direction. Prepositions describing people and their clothes. then prepositions of source and origin then prepositions indicating motion okay so i have categorized them into seven different types okay so let us discuss <coughs> every type of preposition one by one first let us take the preposition of time okay Okay. We know that a preposition <coughs> may consist of one word or a group of words. Okay. So, for example, in, on, at, above. Okay, under. So these are. the one word prepositions so this one word prepositions are called simple prepositions they are called simple prepositions okay then the <coughs> prepositions consists of a group of words are called compound prepositions for example by dint of okay ask for in front of okay so these are the prepositional phrases okay so they are they are uh, form Or they are constructed by taking more than one words. So they are consists of a group of words. So they are called the compound prepositions. Okay. So <coughs> other compound prepositions like ask for, delight in, in in charge of, in exchange of. Okay. In order to, in connection with. so all these are the examples of prepositions that are the compound prepositions okay so generally we have two types of prepositions according uh, on the basis of their formation okay on the basis of the <coughs> form they are divided as simple prepositions and compound prepositions compound prepositions okay so <coughs> we will learn about which type of preposition <coughs> letter let us 
discuss about the different types of preparations. We know that we have divided uh, it into seven types. Okay, the first type is the preparation of time. Okay, so according to the use, on the basis of their use, the preparations are divided like this. The, uh, for example, preposition of time, preposition of position, prepositions of place, prepositions of direction, okay, prepositions uh, of motion, okay, like this. Okay, so <coughs> here we will know about the use of some particular prepositions of time like art, in, on. In this class, okay. So <coughs> I have taken some sentences. Through the sentences, we will get to know how a preposition is used and how it indicates the time. Okay. The first one that is, she was born in two thousand five. Here, which one is the preposition here in this sentence? It is in. Okay. So, <coughs> she was born in 2005. When she was born? When <coughs> she was born in 2005. Okay. So, this preposition tells us about the year okay 2005 okay that is why the preposition in <coughs> talks us about the year when she was born okay then in the second sentence we wear cotton clothes in summer so here it is the preposition in and is it telling us about a year? No. Is it telling us about a particular time? No, there is no mention of any particular time or exact time. <coughs> it is it is simply it simply says about the time that is summer. So it is a season. Okay. So in such cases, we can use in. Okay. So it could be in winter, it could be in summer, in autumn. Okay. So it uh, here it talks about a season. Okay, when did uh, when do we wear cotton clothes? Okay, then in the third sentence, my birthday is in June. It's in June. Here, in is the preposition, and this preposition is telling us about a month. Okay, it <coughs> it is telling us or uh, it indicates a month. Okay. Then, in the fourth sentence, Sam was playing in the morning. Here, which one is the preparation? Of course, it is in and in this sentence, it is also telling us about time. So, what is the time? In the morning. Okay. So, it is not telling us about the exact time of the action when it was taken place. Okay. <coughs> so, it is just telling us about a part of a day. Okay. Some part of a day. That is in the morning. Okay. So, we use the preposition in in some cases, like a part of a day. 
you can write in the morning in the evening in in the afternoon okay but we cannot write in night it will be wrong so so which preposition we will use here at night okay so it is an exception okay so what did you learn the preposition in that is in we use to indicate a year then season month then a particular part of the day okay then next come to the use of on okay so let us know the use of another preposition of time that is on okay so i have written four sentences so going through these sentences we will get to know about the use of uh, the preposition uh, our preposition that is on so first sentence it was kin's birthday on monday so here which one is the preposition that is on okay it was kin's birthday on monday so here the time is report a time is expressed with the help of this preposition that is on okay so on monday means it is telling us about a particular day on which kin's birthday falls okay it was kin's birthday on monday okay so when we talk about on monday we are specifying a particular day okay that is the monday so it may be any day like mon on monday on sunday on tuesday so like this the preposition on is used to refer to a particular a specific day okay then come to the next sentence that is christmas is celebrated on 25th december okay so here a preposition which one is the preposition on okay so here it is telling us about the date okay a specific date on which the special occasion that is christmas is celebrated okay so here it is telling us a specific or particular date of the month okay then next there is a special program on independence day so here it is the preposition on and it is telling us about a particular day or specific day that is the that is independent day okay so uh, it may be we can use the uh, so uh, we learn that the preposition on can be used to refer to some special or specific dates okay so this is the uh, one of the special dates we can write uh, on independence day on diwali on uh, republic day okay so like this we use the preposition on to refer to some special day then last one that is i read of this on time okay so here it is the preposition on okay so when we tell when we tell i read of this on time we are referring or we are telling about a specific or particular time okay so it is indicating a specific time it could be 
it could be on uh, it could be nine it could be after nine or it could be before nine but it is telling us a specific time okay then next come to the use of another preposition of time that is at okay so <laughs> let us take the examples okay my father will drop me at 8 o'clock okay so here the preposition is at okay so my father will drop me at 8 o'clock so here this preposition at is telling us about the specific or point of time okay a specific point of time okay at 8 o'clock so when we say at 8 o'clock we are not going to say before 8 o'clock or after 8 o'clock it is particularly or it is specific okay it is particular or specific or it indicates a point of time okay at 8 8 o'clock okay so my father will drop me at 8 o'clock okay my father is not going to drop me before 8 o'clock or after 8 o'clock he is going to drop me particularly at 8 o'clock okay then so it indicates a particular point of time then the church bell struck at midnight okay the church bell so here at is the preposition at it is indicating a specific time okay or uh, we can say it is telling us about a part of the time okay that is at midnight okay so what is the basic difference between the use of the preposition of time that is in and at we use in to indicate some in specific time that is it may be a span of time or period of time but when we use this preposition that is at we are referring to a particular or specific or point of time okay so let us do this exercise this exercise for you okay fill in the blanks using the preposition from the bracket we have already discussed okay so the function is dash the evening so it will be in the evening because we are telling a part of the day okay then the gates will be the uh, the gates will be upon dash pm so it will be it indicating the time is indicating a particular a point of time specific a point of time that is 5 pm so we will use here the preposition the appropriate preposition will be at okay the gates will be upon at 5 pm then we expect the guest to arrive dash time so here the preposition will be on time so it is also indicating a time okay so we expect the guest to arrive on time okay so what did we learn in this class in this class we learned a type of preposition that is preposition of time and specifically we learned about the use of these prepositions like at in and on okay so in your next class you will learn about the remaining prepositions of time okay thank you